In this demo, you're gonna see me use the Azure AD application and .NET console app that I previously created in the last demo to find related entities and search for users by using two additional query parameters, the expand and the query uh, or the search parameter. Now, it's important to understand too that this, it depends on the fact that I've already created my Azure AD app like I did in my last demo and I created the console app because we're gonna use the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by going back to uh, Microsoft Edge in the browser and going to the Azure AD um, Admin Center. And I want to add in a couple more permissions. So I'm going to find the permission. I'm going to select it as an application permission. And we're going to look for the group.read.all permission. All right, so I'll go ahead and select that and say Add Permissions. And again, I'll grant consent for that permission so our app can use that. Now, as part of my demo, I want to update my code to obtain a list of all the groups in my, in my Microsoft 365 tenancy. Um, I'm also gonna wanna leverage the top query parameter and the expand query parameter to expand a nested collection of members of the group. So using this technique, I'm optimizing the app so it doesn't have to request the members from every group as it iterates through the collection. So let's go back to our project. And I wanna find the line that we have that's making the request uh, for all of our users. And you can see that listed right here. So we're gonna change this to instead of getting users, I'm gonna change this to get groups. I'm also then, when I'm then gonna then specify we need to get a request. And then after that, I'm then going to say, I only want the top five groups and I want to expand the members collection. So what that does is instead of me having to go get all five of those groups and then enumerate through each one of those groups to get a, all the members in those groups, I can just say, give me all the groups, but then automatically expand and include that uh, the members collection uh, for each one of the groups to get everything in one uh, round trip to the uh, to Microsoft Graph. So I'm then going to come over here and change my results that I get back. So I'm gonna change my for each, not change the results, but I wanna change how we're displaying them. So now these results are gonna be groups. So I'm gonna write out the ID of the group, and then inside of there, I'll then go walk through all the members, and I'll indent the member's ID and their display name as part of the results. So let's give this a shot. I'll come back and open the console, and we'll run the exact same command we ran in the previous demo, just .NET build and .NET run. And what that's now doing, you see, is we're just making one round trip to the server or to Microsoft Graph to get all of my groups. And it's gonna then show me all of the users in those groups. And you can look at the request and notice what's special about this is that not only am I just getting the top five, but then I'm adding in this expand parameter to say, give me all of the members uh, from the um, the members collection from each one of those groups. The Graph Explorer enables developers to create and test queries using Microsoft Graph REST API. You'll use the Graph Explorer to create and test a query that uses the search query parameter. So I'm gonna go back to Edge and we're gonna open up a new tab and I'm gonna go to developer.microsoft.com slash graph slash graph Graph Explorer. Now the Graph Explorer will execute a query that's entered in at the top that you see listed right here and display the results in the bottom half um, of the page. So here without doing anything, I'm just gonna select Run Query and it's gonna go ahead and just run the query we, that we have for the me endpoint and I'm listing everything out uh, a little bit farther down. Now without logging in, the graph, Microsoft Graph is gonna query a sample data collection. But the search query parameter, which is supported on the people endpoint, um, is something that we can definitely use. We, we can also use with Microsoft Graph. So I'm going to go in and add, uh, at the end of this, I'm going to add a people endpoint that we have. So we're going from uh, me slash people. And then I'm going to select run query. And what you see here, let's give you more room to see this, um, we're going to see the results of uh, uh, all the people that I'm associated with uh, coming from the Microsoft Graph. Now, I can also search for a specific person. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna add in uh, a, um, 
on the query string, I'm going to add in a search command, and I'm going to search where people's last name starts with W-I-L-K-E, or I'm searching for that string. I'm not actually searching people whose name it starts with that. But notice here that it's finding a user with that um, specific name. So the search parameter or the search query parameter also supports wildcards. So I can also execute the following query to see if there's even more people in here that have a similar name. So this time I'll just take the KE off the end and add a star. What you'll notice here is that we only had one item come back. Um, but in, when I run this with the asterisk on the end of it, we now see that it's going to find one, two, we got two people showing up, but remember Nestor was the first one that showed up last time, whereas now we have another one. named Alex Wilbur as well. So we're getting multiple results coming back this way. So what you saw here is how we modified the Azure AD app to have be able to use the um, search for groups. Uh, and we were able to then use that permission to submit a request for uh, all the groups or the top five groups that were returned, but then also use the expand query parameter to allow developers to limit multiple requests for data um, such as enumerating through m multiple groups to retrieve a list of group members. And then we also use Graph Explorer uh, to use the search query parameter to find specific users. And this query parameter also enables developers to optimize queries by not enumerating through large um, data collections to find a single entity, but instead you can leverage the more efficient search capabilities of Microsoft Graph.